Hey, how's it going everyone? This is SGT Pratt coming at you with another Fortnite Save the World video. Today we'll be going over the new Mythic Outlander uh, that just came out in the weekly challenge horde, uh, number 6. Her name is the Field Agent Rio, and we'll go ahead and I'll show you her real quick. Uh, what I'm going to do too is uh, I'm going to go over her stats, my setup real quick, then I'll go ahead and post it in the comments below of some gameplay with her, so I, I can tell you what time to, to fast forward to if you just want to watch the gameplay on it. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and check her out. Let's upgrade and inspect. Uh, she is an outlander. Uh, let's see, focus acquisition, increased chance to find double loot by 6%, which is awesome. Uh, she does specialize in teddy and phase shifts. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, run this real, real quick. Uh, teddy costs a 30 energy, cooldown 60 seconds. Deploy Teddy for 15 seconds. If Outlander is holding a charge fragment, the fragment is consumed. Teddy's cooldown is reduced by 30% and his energy cost is reduced to zero. So if you have a charge fragment, you throw him down, the Teddy doesn't cost any energy. And the next one, uh, to throw down the next Teddy, the time of the cooldown on it is reduced by 30%. Uh, teddy can be active, only one Teddy can be active at a time. And Teddy's blast enemies within four tiles for a base of uh, 20 physical damage for four, four times per second. I need to spit that out. All right, so the Outlander can hold a maximum of 25 regular charge fragments and one additional Llama fragment. Uh, so that's pretty common on all Outlanders. Uh, next one is Loot Llama. Everybody knows what Loot Llama is. You get the fragment, throw it down, and bash the Loot Llama, get some prizes out of it. Uh, phase Shift. All right, so here's here's where she starts getting interesting again. Uh, she specializes in Phase Shift. Uh, ammo Gen Time. 8 seconds, rapidly really shifts 1.75 tiles in the direction currently moving. So if you're moving forward, it would actually phase shift you 1.7 tiles in that direction. Increases movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds afterwards. Uh, so as soon as you phase shift and as soon as the phase shift ends, you get that speed boost on top of it for 3 seconds. Uh, max charges are 3, so you can hold up to 3 of them. Phased out reduces the refill time of charges. Phaser to kill. Uh, actually, that's all the stuff below. I actually post it up in there. But yeah, so uh, phasers to kill increases pistol damage by 50% for 4 seconds after phase shift ends. So not on top of her focusing on uh, the phase shift, she actually uh, focuses on pistols as well. So I'm going to be running some uh, different types of pistols for you guys in here as well. It's awesome. So phased out, we'll go to the next one, phased out. Reduces the refill time of phase shift charges by 3 seconds, so it's even uh, less time on the cooldown. Uh, seismic Impact. Now, just like the Outlander Ragnarok, she does have the Impact uh, uh, ability. Uh, so, when you, you know, you pound the ground, this little uh, energy beam goes uh, through the ground and it takes out the enemies. Uh, and the Outlander, in and Outlander, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Eliminate three enemies within 10 seconds after using Phase Shift will refund the Phase Shift charge. So, if you go ahead and Phase Shift, take out three enemies, your Phase Shift charge automatically will be refunded to you. That's kind of cool. All right, Eagle Eye. So, like I said, she's based off of pistol build. Uh, increases critical rating with pistols by 18%. Uh, the next one is Bear With Me. Increases the duration of Teddy by 5 seconds, so it's increasing that time, that how long the Teddy's going to be out there for. Uh, she has the end of zone, which is typical within a lot of Outlanders. After 5 hits in a row with a pickaxe, you gain the end of zone, which increases the pickaxe damage by 24%. You have Bear Zerker, increases the damage dealt by Teddy by 25%, and on top of that, you get an additional 5 seconds. So that's right, 10 seconds on top of the 20 seconds that I already gave you, so that's 30 seconds. And Phase Cannon. Here's the one that everybody's interested about. Phase shifting empowers the equipped ranged weapon, causing the next shot fire to shoot a phase projectile which pierces enemies and deals 60 base energy damage. Switching or holstering weapons removes the effect. So after you get done phase shifting, your next bullet you fire out of any gun that you have is going to shoot this little plasma ball out at enemies that can pierce through multiple enemies and dealing energy damage, which is awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and read the description on her. She's an agile field operative that uses phase shift to maneuver around and blast enemies away, which she definitely does pretty well. Alright, so let's go back. And so that's what her... Oh, only one thing to me inspect her real quick. When you first get her to level up, she doesn't have glasses on, and that's the only thing that I noticed the changes on her. Everything else is already on there. So, as soon as you evolve her, I think from, from level 10 to level 11, you go ahead and, so one star to two stars, you get the glasses. But everything else is the same for the skin. Let's go back. I'll show you the setup I'm running. So, since she's base is uh, 
She focuses on pistol damage. I went ahead and, and, and compared her up to, in our support bonus, is Ranger Beetle Jess, which has the hip shot, uses pistol damage by 24%. So on top of that 24%, after my phase shift ends, I get 50%. So that's almost 75 or 74% more damage with the pistol for those couple seconds with those two compared. And for the third one, here in tactical bonus, I have the Carbide, which he just increases the duration of Teddy by another 5 seconds. So I have a Teddy for 35 seconds now, essentially. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into a mission real quick. And let's see which one we have. Yeah, we go ahead and jump into that one. We're not going to be uh, completing the mission. We're just going to go ahead and just show you her different abilities and stuff of that nature. Let's see. Load up. And I'm going to be running uh, a couple. We'll, we'll try a different, couple different pistols out with her. Um, go ahead, launch. Uh, I know a lot of people like the Founder's Revolt. I, I do have the Whisperer. Uh, if you actually seen one of my other videos I've done, I had just got done doing a video with a whole bunch of uh, different pistol reviews. So we have we have a lot to choose from. Fight the storm, category three. No, I'm not fighting any storm. I'm just here to kill some husks and run away. I'm a special agent. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> special agent Rio, field agent. Come on, any day. Load up. There we go. All right, as you can see, I have the Wraith on too. Uh, which I just uh, got done doing a video on that, okay. which is an awesome weapon. We Alright, so what I'm going to do is I have a Whisper on me. Let's just go through some of her abilities real quick. Alright, so just like the Ragnarok, she has a side impact, but unlike his, it does not return. It just goes out one beam and that's it. He has the actual extra ability for it to come back on you. And everybody knows what the Teddy is. So we have the teddy. I am a bear. You are not a bear. Yes, the teddy. <laughs> Love the teddies. All right. The only thing that uh, this outliner does not have is the uh, anti-material charge. That's kind of weird. Uh, she is not built for farming whatsoever. She has the seismic impact, the phase shift, and the teddy. She does not have anti-material charge. So we gotta keep that in mind. So she's not a farming outlander. Which is unusual because most of, most people use outliners for for that reason. But let's go ahead and I show you the phase shift real quick and the plasma blast. So I'll go ahead to phase shift and see my pistol. Look at it. That thing's awesome. Look at it. It's glowing. All right. So the next shot is gonna be the energy ball. Let's go ahead and shoot it out here. Oh, there's a husk. You can see that this blue ball go out. Blue ball of uh, uh, plasma go out after my bullet. Let's go ahead and I'll show you again. So on top of the bullet shooting, you actually shoot in a like little, uh, I guess phase phase blaster on top of it that compares to a couple enemies. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Ammo. Yeah, let's see. Try it again. Did it do it? Well, I guess it did. It just didn't do an animation on it, huh? So maybe not every time, but you're not gonna get that animation on it. It looks like. I'll leave it to Epic to have another bug in the game. That's alright, at least it works. There he goes, boom. Let's see if it does double damage. It does. Yeah, and it has affliction damage now. Awesome. So at least that works on it. <laughs> the sound effects are a little bit off on it too. So, I mean, right now it's awesome. I like how they added the ability into the gun now, so it on top of you having your, your base abilities, you know, the Teddy and the Seismic, seismic Impact, uh, you have a Phase Cannon Blast that goes along with it. So I, I go ahead and put this uh, Hacksaw on too, as you can see. Boom. So the very next bullet you shoot out of it, it is kind of slow moving. It's not as fast as your bullets coming out of the gun, but it does shoot it out. So it gives you something extra if you're in like the middle of a firefight or a bunch of hosts are coming in at you, you just want to Get out there and get extra da damage on them. Boom. You have it. Alright, let's go ahead and check her out. I use I used the Wraith with it too. Everybody likes the Wraith. I'm in love with this new gun. Boom. 
Let's check this camping out. Kill these guys. Come on, husks. Uh oh. So finally, an outlander that can put out some good DPS. That's a little bit different than uh, the flag, uh, fragment flurry Jess and the uh, Shamrock Reclaimer. And it's nice. I, I like that how the Epic did this this character here. So it's not just a skin, in, but the new ability is actually worth something. And it's awesome. Uh, shooting that little plasma ball out helps out a little bit. Let's see if we can find some more husks to take out. This target's a tricky one. Keep so used to. So used to. Uh, it's a material charge that I don't have anymore. Let's see if we can find somebody. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, we got some guys down here. Alright. So I'll take up my pistol. Number for for three seconds afterwards now she does a lot more damage with her pistol. After every phase shift. So it's definitely fun to play with. Uh, I'm going to be uh, using this a little bit more, uh, get a feel for it. Uh, for my first my first reactions to it, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I definitely like how they incorporate uh, a projectile on it with a weapon. It doesn't matter what weapon you use. I mean, it's a different ability. And it, I think it can be useful uh, in certain situations. So overall, I'll give it, I'll give it a good thumbs up. Uh, some, some of the animations on it are a little bit off still. Like sometimes you can see it's not actually showing on the gun or the sound doesn't come out on it. But, I mean, it's, it's a couple of bugs I'm sure they'll probably work out on it. No, I will not help. I don't care if you're getting swarmed. But, so that's the review of the uh, new Mythic Outlander. I mean, I really enjoy it. I'm going to be using her a lot more. And I'm going to use the new the new Wraith. If you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and check out my other video. Uh, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.